welcome to the solution of MSQ ISI 2020 paper, 2022 paper on the recently concluded exam. So let us look at the question number two now. Question number two A says for a function f from r to r, let us assume that it is continuous. Let Q denote the set of rational numbers. Rational numbers. Prove that if f of Q is a subset of 1, 2, 3, then f is a constant. So f from r to r, Q is a constant. So suppose it is not constant, it is non-constant. So, so 2a, suppose that it is a non-constant. Suppose f from r to r is non-constant function. Then there exist x in uh, x and y in r so that f of x f of x is not equal to f of y then we can find two rational numbers suitably close to x and y respectively, say rx and ry, so that f of rx is not equal to f of ry. Now, now, what does that say? Now, let, uh, so without loss of generality, assume that x, rx is less than ry. So, let z, z be the point, z be the point in between. So, z be the point greater than rx, such so that, so, this so, so let s equal to set up all points in r a uh, 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 in in uh, <coughs> r so that r x is less than z and less than r y so that f of r x equal to f of z Then there exists, so Sx is clearly, S is clearly a subset of Rx, Ry, it's a proper subset. So there exists a point Z0, so that for all Z greater than Z0, f of Z0 is not equal to f of uh, is not equal to f of z, I should say. So then, then what happens? Now, now take Rn sequence of uh, rationals in z naught comma r y so that so that this r n converges to z naught 
Now since f is continuous, then what we will get? f of r n converges to f of z naught. Now f of r n takes the value inside this set. 1, 2, up to n. So this is a disk uh, and so on. So this is a discrete set, which is, which is so f of r n is taking value inside a discrete set. So, so since it is convergent, so this sec, this sequence is convergent. So, <coughs> so the sequence is eventually constant. So that means, so I'll prove that. So I'll prove that the sequence is eventually constant. So, so let epsilon is equal to one upon four. Since so f of z naught is uh, so since f of, since uh, f is continuous, then there exists a uh, there exists a delta positive such that for all R n inside this the z so for all R n satisfying R n minus z less than delta this f of r n minus f of z will be less than f of z naught will be less than 1 upon 4. But now, let's see, f of r n's are, uh, uh, f of r n's are rationals and so the text value inside this set, so and uh, this set, so any, any, between any two points, the distance is at least one. So here, you are saying that the dis distance is less than a 1 upon 4. So that means f of rn. So f of rn's are equal to. So, so f of rn's are equal to f of z naught for all rn satisfying this uh, rn minus z naught less than delta inequality. But since uh, this z naught is a limit point that implies there exists n in n such that for all n greater than or equal to n, this r n minus z naught this is less than delta. So so we get a hell lot of points which are more than z naught, uh, but these these guys are uh, are equal to f of z naught, which contradicts this. So this is a contradiction. So this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. Hence, F cannot be non-constant. So uh, hence, F is constant. So now let us go back to question number uh, 2b. So let us look at question number 2b, which says calculate the value of f test 0 when f is differentiable and mod of fx is less than or equal to x squared. So f of x, this is less than or equal to x squared. And F is differentiable. We are asked to find so what is this? Now, what do we know? F, uh, F prime uh, zero, this is equal to limit h tends to zero, F of x plus h minus F of zero plus h minus F of zero by h. So we'll calculate this limit. So <clears throat> so we claim that we claim so so this is so in other words that is for all epsilon greater than zero there exists a delta such that for all h satisfying this de le le less than delta this f of zero plus h minus f of zero by h minus f prime zero this number 
Bizle izlen hep şeyle. So, so we'll uh, see. Uh, so our claim is if, if just is equal to zero. So let us look at if it is at all true. So f of h minus f of zero by h. So so before that, let us assume. Let epsilon is positive be given. So then uh, let mod h is less than epsilon. So our delta, so our delta here is equal to epsilon. So now f of zero plus h minus f of zero by h minus zero mod this is equal to so <clears throat> so this is equal to f uh, f of h minus f of zero by h so this is this so now before uh, going uh, before doing any more computation let us see what is the value of f of zero so you see f of zero this modulus this is less than or equal to uh, x square mod x squared for all x for uh, x for all x in r for all x in r this is what we have been given here we look at so we are given this so let us go back to the question so it says that this is less than or equal to x squared for all x. So, so this is uh, is less. So mod of f of zero is less than for any positive x. So that implies that f of zero is equal to zero. So otherwise, if you take any non-zero values and if you take uh, x is equal to that f of zero mod of f of zero by uh, uh, root over of mod of f of 0 by 2, then you can see that f of 0 is not less than or equal to that, that squared. So again, we get a contradiction. So, so, so f of 0 is equal to 0. So that means that this is equal to f of h by h. So that means this is less than or equals to h square h mod h square by mod h so this is equal to mod h which is less than epsilon you can see so this f test zero is equal to uh, here it is zero so it's, this limit is equal to zero and so this is what we have been asked to find out so we have found out this derivative is equal to zero. So that's it.